Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Troy Stanley and this is a TS Tech Talk video. On today's video guys, we are going to be sharing information of top things that you do not know on your Bing AI. Now, um, let's start making use of Bing by opening the browser, which is Edge Browser. Now, the first thing you do not know is that if you want to use Bing AI, you can actually type in bing.com and you can make use of the Bing search and while using the Bing search, you have option to also chat. And then apart from that, while using the Bing also, there is also an information or there is actually a way to also set your chat. Now, if you click on this settings area, you can actually change your location to a different location. Let's say I want to change it to United States. Now, changing the location is actually very important and changing the location actually gives you quite some different features from what you used to have before. Now, this is actually displaying for Bing users in Nigeria and this is actually displaying for Bing users in the United States, which is actually very different. You can always change that anytime you want and Bing is always going to look different for you. That is number one. And then the number two guys, Bing always reward you every time you make use of the application. And this reward, you can always redeem them whenever you want. And when you are redeeming them, there is actually limited things that you can do with the Bing AI. So um, withdrawing this can also be in form of a voucher or let's say you are using it to donate or any other thing. So when you click on the redeem, it's going to display you some information. This is actually the point I aim today and this is my total point. And to redeem this, when you scroll down below, you can see what you can redeem it with. If you play League of Legends, you can actually redeem it with League of Legends and use it to buy, let's say, um, uh, skin packs that you play in the game instead of using it for cash and also you can also donate this also you can still donate this also as well to um, uh, I think care this is a different platform and this is another different platform you can donate it to them but if you decide to use it for your game you can also put it in this game and you can redeem it to the game that is number two and then guys our next one is that Using Bing.com to actually browse the internet is actually quite different from using this particular AI. Now, using this AI actually allows you to chat. Yes, that's fine. And you can do the same thing by making use of the chat section. When you click on the chat, you can start chatting. But now, you can notice there are, um, they are very similar, right? But quite different. Now, from this area, you can notice I cannot see my previous history or my previous um, search, uh, right? Well, even when I scroll down, I cannot find it. The only thing I can do here is just make a quick search, uh, have a quick conversation with my uh, Bing AI. But right here, you can actually see my previous history or my previous activities of what I have done on the Bing AI before now. And also, um, when you scroll up a little bit, you can also see some information. Now, let me go ahead and show you guys a quick information about this. Um, let me see. Right, that is actually um, an information that I want to search. Then you hit search it will start searching for it and on this Bing section right here I am going to paste this and I'm going to hit search also so I'm going to search them on two different area this is already giving me my result which is fine I did that before this and this is also giving me my results so I didn't make any changes so they are both going to be on balance so I'm expecting them to give me my result and you are going to see the difference very quick so um, let's wait for it And do not forget guys, they are all going to be in balanced mode. So this is still typing the information while this has already completed it. And you can read through and you understand everything the way it goes, right? And also the interesting part or probably the difference is that this will always give you a picture of the image. And the picture of this image is actually coming from Bing. Now, 
when you scroll down to this area this is actually the end of the result so you can al also read it and then you click on the link to actually see the picture of the image or more information about the image and that same link is also found here but now the difference between this and this is that it gives you more information about that particular search result which is displaying you the image of that particular product that you just searched for so guys um after you're done with this you can always close let me close this out so that you guys can see so after you're done with this you can always close it by closing the tab also on this top area but then i'm going to leave that anyway so if you click on this area whenever you're chatting let's say you probably have this section you click on the chart you can always pull up the chart and it's going to open the same chart that you have previously on this area this is still the same thing no difference so if you scroll up you are going to see even more information this is also not different from what we search for and if i paste search it's going to start searching for it again now um do not forget guys we are already logged in so everything is being saved which means every day i come in i am going to see my search result and also um whenever you click on this area right to see your reward it always display you this information so always click on this checkbox to actually confirm that you viewed it today and whenever you click on it you get extra reward for clicking this link and also um there is always a regular task that you can also perform so when you scroll down you can notice that it says to a nine point um keep searching up to 33 rewards points daily and you can look below and say redeem your points and when you look below you can also see where it says try new being so whenever you click on any of these it actually increases your reward so i've already done that so it now says complete this puzzle to actually in um plus 10 so when i complete this puzzle i am going to earn a reward and also when i click on the explore variant city i am also going to earn reward every time i complete any of this task i will earn a reward now i am actually not interested in doing all of those things now so guys well, another thing i want to show you that you probably didn't know about is this when you click on your profile area it displays you your information and you can actually manage your account right when you click on this menu icon also it's going to bring you even more information now you can actually click on your search history to see your search history and you can also moderate your search to actually search save now if you click on the um on the search save section you can actually choose to turn off the adult section which is probably if you do not want it to display adult section probably maybe you have children and you do not want them to make use of this you can actually make use of this by turning off the adult section so that it wouldn't display adult content on the search and also if you want this to be strictly um out of adult text and images you can go ahead and enable it but i'm going to leave this on default which is what i'm actually okay with and then um once you're done with this let's go ahead and head back to the bing.com so if you are on bing area you can also do more things by clicking on this menu i'm going back to the same menu then you click on my bing so when you click on my bing it displays you even more information different from what we used to have so on this area it actually allows you to use or grow your social media audience in one place so you can actually link all of your social media audience in one place by clicking on create a public profile i have actually not click created that yet because i want to show you guys how to do it on today's video so when you click on create a public profile you'll be able to create a public profile pull your username and then go ahead and submit so for my case i am going to say intrinsic intrinsic web and i am going to click on submit so it's going to submit my username and i'm ready to start making use of other social media so i can now link or synchronize my other social medias in one place i can have my twitter i'll just need to put my twitter username and then um, display a particular test so my twitter username is ts tech talk one if you are following me on twitter you should be able to see this so once you're done just hit enter it's going to give it's going to load up and give you more information so give it some minutes my internet is quite faster today so this is actually ts tech talk I wait for it is going to load up my uh, social media it's probably loading right here so like ts tech talk actually has um uh 
some information guys i always post in my social media information so you can always see my social media information right there and you can see all of my posts it's not displaying the information because i am not logged in so if i'm logged in it's going to be displaying all of the information but i'm actually logged out so um to add more social media details you can always click on the edit profile and then plus and add sorry i said plus but it's actually plus so you can click on the um, add social media link and when you click on that you can you have option to select your facebook instagram and youtube so i'm going to select my youtube first and then i'm going to put my youtube url or my youtube link so it's ts tech talk also and then once you're done go ahead and click on confirm and you can display some characters also but i'm actually not interested in displaying any character so i'm just going to go ahead and click on submit and also guys while making use of this your uh bing profile or your bring um my profile being on your bing if you are making use of this tool whenever you search something on the web it's always going to save up on your profile whenever you pull up something on the web it's always going to save on your profile and if you have your profile or your social media logged in on the same device you can always share it to those uh particular profile and is going to automatically be displayed on this platform but then guys another interesting thing about this uh being my profile is that whenever you search your search history is always going to display here this is actually your search history right now this is cool and interesting so this is also um i don't want to show you guys about anyway you can see this is it this is what i have searched so far today and the previous one are probably below so Apart from that, this is collection. Now on the collection section, this is actually where you save up um, images. I don't know if you have used Pinterest before. The way your Pinterest work is actually the way this collection works. Now let's go back to the Bing homepage or let's just go back to Bing.com. We are also going, we are going to come back later on to the profile. So this is Bing.com. Now let me assume I'm searching for um, a white force actually the red force is actually my best so i search for a white force right this is the active force is actually known as a white force so um if i click on the image area it can display all of the image relating to this white force right now if i actually um, decide to have any of the image or maybe i like any of the image so i want to see them later on i can hover on the image area and then you notice this plus icon right there i can click on it and then have it save hold on Let's just click on it click on it and then have it save on any of the collection that is existing but if you do not choose any selection it's going to automatically save your image on the last collection so i think this one is actually saved on lagos i have not seen the image properly because the image is actually on the top so although my image has been saved although my image has been saved but i still want to be um I still want to show you guys exactly how it's saved but for some reason this is just moving let me go below so that it will give me uh, better control now you can see the image right this is where i saved the previous image which is actually on the wrong area now i want to create a different collection and i'm going to call this fox So I'm going to call this Fox Pictures and once you're done, just click on the check icon, it's going to save. So I just saved this on the first picture and then I'm going to save another one on the Fox Picture. And also you can save this on two different pictures. Uh, do not worry, you can always remove that later on. So just search any image that you think you are okay with and then you save it on the collection or the place where you want it to be so if you're done this is red fox this is snow fox this is tail this is just a paint of the red uh, of the white fox this is a girl foxy um this is probably a co cosplay so let me choose this because i actually love painting also um i like this but it looks weird because of the flower on top so i'm going to click on this taking so much time to load so um i am not seeing the option to actually okay there there you go this is actually here so uh select the foxy picture and i'm okay and also guys this is not the only place you can save your fox collection now if you also use create um option to actually create an image so i'm going to say um, um paint a white fox 
So it's going to paste, paint a white fox for us. So I'm going to click on create. So we want to have it create the white fox for us. And do not forget, I also have my previous image created and they are all displaying here. So if that is actually what you want to do, you can go to your previous image created and then click on them and add them to a collection. collection. Hovering on it and then choosing our collection but it's not displaying because it's hiding so all you need to do just click on it so that you see it on a full screen mode so once it's on a full screen mode you can easily click on save and then choose uh the bank uh right i hope i chose the fox picture right okay it's already there so it's saved you can notice it says saved so I'm going to go next and I'm going to save this also. Mm, the eye looks somehow weird. Okay, saved. And then finally the last one. Save. Okay, so if we decide to share this, we can also use this and we can you can see the link, right? Just click on copy and you can always share it. And then finally, guys, after creating these images and you decide to um customize this or maybe you have this image and you want to use this image on let's say a banner right you can click on customize and it's going to automatically open you to microsoft designer which is actually where you create banner and uh, let's say cover post of anything on your social media so it's going to actually just allow it some time to render it's going to render this image with a different sample because it's going to render this image with different prompt right here just give it some time while it does its thing so let's wait for it so guys the design has been completed and this is it you can just scroll down and choose just about anyone you think that um, that will be compelling or that will look compelling to your design if you feel this is okay use that if you think this is also okay you can also use that and uh, just know that any anytime you click on any of them you can now customize the, uh, the design by clicking on customize design so when you click on customize design you can do even more things after the design has loaded up you can do more things by adding um, adding different templates, different media, different visual, different test on your image. So let's click on test and let's go ahead and add um, a heading test. So we're going to call this, um, um, what do we call it? This is a white fox. And this is also a, an arctic fox, right? So we're just going to call this a white fox. Um, and then I'm going to click outside, click on this again and move it to the top. And then I'm going to change the font, um, reduce the font. And I'm okay with that because I really do not want to make uh, much design. Just change the color to, let's say, white. And we are good to go. So if you're done with the design, you can always download the design or just leave the design. When you leave the design, it's going to automatically save the design on your designing area so you can download this or you share this on your social media so i just have it downloaded and it's going to be under my downloads when i check on my device so guys if you're done with that you can always come back and then whenever you want to use microsoft bing or uh, bing tools you can always see them right here on the left hand area so on this area you can see the design image section that we just choose now and you can also use the microsoft drop you can use the microsoft outlook you can use the um the microsoft windows 350 which actually contains the microsoft word excel and other things that you can use online you can also play games use other tools and you can also do your uh shopping right here so anything you want to do guys is already here you can all you need to do is just click on it and then you start working so um i hope this video is helpful if it is in any way don't forget to smash like and guys i will see you on my next video if you have more questions or you probably um know that i missed something in this video please let me know on the comment section or you have any suggestion also let me know i will see you on my next video stay safe guys and peace